Welcome back everybody, oh boy, now if you want to know some more about the mysterious supreme leader Snoke before going into The Last Jedi, well you're in for a treat and it's all thanks to the visual dictionary for The Last Jedi. So there are potential huge spoilers here people and a lot of theories are going to be destroyed. So let's take a look at some of the goodies. Supreme Leader Snoke Though his name is known to the galaxy and his reputation as the Supreme Leader of the First Order precedes him, few have ever seen Snoke in the flesh. He obscures himself with distance, being forever unreachable, save for a select few who can contact him directly. Even under such circumstances, Snoke disguises his true nature. Whatever frailties have broken his body are dwarfed by the immense size at which he typically projects his form, Heart of Darkness. Snoke is powerful in the dark side of the Force. But he is no Sith. That thousand year lineage stretching from Darth Bane to the last Sith Lord, Darth Vader, was undone when Vader died destroying his mentor, Darth Sidious. The fulfillment of an ancient prophecy foretold the end of the Sith, but it never predicted the end of darkness. So once again Snoke is confirmed not to be a Sith Lord. And interestingly enough, there was an ancient prophecy that foresaw the end of the Sith Order. Now we have a description of his robe, corded oropile fabric callet robes, sounds fancy. And there is a description of his wounds as well, but we can't make out all of the words here. Hypertrophic something channel for the wound on his head and misshapen something from something Zygana for his left eye or cheekbone. Now I looked up Zygana and it's supposed to originate from the Hungarian language. It's a variant form of the name Zygana which might originate from the Slavic word for gypsy. So is that wound on his face a gypsy curse? Just guessing here, who knows. Now when I first reported about this rumor of Snoke having genie shoes, people were flipping the F out about it. But here's a pretty good explanation as to why he wears them. Snoke's painful stance has caused him to prioritize comfort. So it looks like Snoke is so damaged that even the feet, pun intended, of walking causes him pain. Now let's have a look at Snoke's ring. Obsidian from catacombs beneath Darth Vader's Mustafa castle. So no it's not a kyber crystal, but it was mined from underneath Vader's castle which is said to have been built over a nexus of dark side force energy. And check this out, gold etched with glyphs of the Dwarty. Now this my friends might very well be the name of Snoke's species. That would be my guess here, the Dwarty. So I went over on Wikipedia to see if I could find out more about this Dwarty. And here's what it says. Dwarty was a planet located in the Dwarty system of the allied region of Noan. It was home to the four sages of Dwarty, Sistros, Faya, Yanjon, and Breta, who were controversial philosophers and lawgivers from the early days of the Galactic Republic. Appearances, Darth Plagueis. Now if you're a proponent of the Darth Plagueis theory, well what more do you want? But also, Snoke could be one of these four sages, Sistros, Faya, Yanjon or Breta, which would also make him very old. Now speaking of Snoke's species, I did a video not too long ago about these guys here and I pointed out how tall these guys are. Now due to the depth of field here and an optical illusion, people were saying no Bastion, they're regular size because they're standing on that platform there, which I believe is not the case. That platform is in front of those hooded figures and I don't know why people continue not to believe me. So here is one of those hooded figures for us to look at. Attendants. Snoke's retinue includes mute alien navigators who originated in the unknown regions. Were it not for the ancient hyperspace trails blazed by these towering servants, the Imperial survivors who fled into this uncharted realm would certainly have perished. These navigators designed and operate the Oculus viewing scope in Snoke's throne room. And let's read their description. Enlarged brains can process multi-dimensional calculations. Okay. 
Amplification lenses assist naturally weak eyes. Dark purple robes meant to evoke the royal hues of old imperial advisors. Are these guys from the Knights of the Old Republic era? And robes conceal segmented chitinous plates. So chitinous would mean that these guys are an insectoid alien race. So no, they're not Snoke species, but they certainly are tall. In fact, they're towering servants. And they originate from the unknown regions. So does Snoke originate from the unknown regions? Or was my Ren revealed video onto something? Is there an alien invasion being prepared? Some more details about Snoke's elite Praetorian guards. Eight Praetorians flank Snoke's throne. Their red armor blending into the curtain that surrounds the chamber. They stand as implacable, unmoving sentinels. But should any hostility surface from Snoke's rare invited guests, they snap instantly into combat stances. It's almost like they're Force puppets. <coughs> Check out my video about that as well. And some bonus info. Snoke took Ben Solo as his apprentice as he believed only someone of the Skywalker bloodline could destroy the last Jedi. So only a Skywalker can kill a Skywalker? Snoke's physical skills may have faded, but his force aided abilities to persuade, manipulate, and perceive a tremendous. So not only is Snoke telepathic, but he might very well have the ability of precognition as well. Maybe he foresaw in one of his visions that Kylo Ren would be the only one that could kill Luke Skywalker. Man, I hope that doesn't actually happen in The Last Jedi. So there you have it peoples. That's probably more info about Snoke than we'll actually get in the movie itself. So what do you guys think? Does this ring give away the name of Snoke's species, the Dwarti? And how many theories about Snoke have been destroyed? Or does some of this info actually reaffirm any of those theories out there? Leave your thoughts down below. To stay updated with this channel, hit that notification bell. Thanks for dropping by and for your continued support. Don't forget to like, share, sub and all that good stuff. And until next time, see yous.